first let's talk about the clarity that we kind of have now. We kind of have some clarity on Thaddeus Young's situation with the Spurs, right? I don't know why I jumped why I jumped back here. Let me go back. All right, so Thaddeus Young had an interview today after practice. First off, I mean, Thaddeus Young is there at training camp, and I believe so is Al Farouk Aminu. Now, some of my big questions heading into training camp is like, what are we going to do with these two guys? Because technically, we we don't have room on our roster for two players. For two players. Two players got to go. And we were talking about the, the recipe that we've been kind of taking our time to brew here and experiment with. You know, I would say that guys like Thaddeus Young aren't really in those plans. But I've also been saying all season long that I would love to have Thaddeus Young on the team this year. And I would love to have Al Farouk Aminu on the team this year. Um, but there was some clarity from Thaddeus Young in one of his interviews. And this this is a quote from the interview, but I got it off of um, Ty Yeager. Shout out Ty Yeager on Twitter. Um, that went on to say, me and Brian Wright and Pop have talked. Whatever happens, happens at this point. But for me, I'm get, I'm going to show up each and every day to do my job. So first thing that you got to know about Thaddeus Young being at training camp is that he's doing the professional move. He's showing up. He's showing up to training camp. Now we know throughout the whole NBA, there's a lot of players that when they're not happy or they're in a situation, they don't want to show up to training camp a la Ben Simmons right now and everything that Philadelphia is going through. Shout out to Phoenix uh, from It's Me, Phoenix, uh, Spurs fan in Phoenix. Um, shout out to Juan uh, Horiegi. Horiegui, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, from Austin. Shout out to Austin and Phoenix uh, Spurs fans in the house. Thank you guys for stopping by. So the first thing that we got to know is that Thaddeus Young is being professional and he's showing up to work. And to me, that 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 goes that speaks volumes, one, on his character, which is something I think a lot of people know about Thaddeus Young, even though you don't know anything about him, is that you know that he's just like a pro. He's gonna, It doesn't matter if he's on the worst team in the NBA or the best team on the NBA, you're going to get the best out of Thaddeus Young, no matter where he's at. And he went on to talk about that too, you know, that he has that reputation of being a professional. So he seems like he's enjoying his time right now in San Antonio, that he's enjoying being around the organization. He's enjoying being around the team. He went on to say in the interview that he thinks that this team is very versatile and that there can be a lot of different lineups and that you have enough, enough depth on this roster to go for 48 minutes to compete at a high level for 48 minutes. That was his take on our kind of squad right now. So he's enjoying being a, enjoying being around this team right now. Now, all that being said, do I still expect him to be on the roster? No, I don't. I I, I just can't see it. I can't see it going down um, because uh, unless the Spurs are going to make the tough call and letting go of um, Keita Bates Diop, who they just signed to a two-year deal, Unless they feel like letting go of Drew Banks, who's been in our system for about three or four years now and has been growing every step every step of the way and is a big part of the young culture of this team. So unless we're willing to let go of some players, it's, I just don't see it happening. Now, my basketball side of me is like, keep them on the team. The Spurs culture and and and, and way about, about the roster that we have right now, I'm too attached to it. I'm too attached to everyone on this roster to like make room for that for one year. And that's the, that's the other part of it that he's only has one year left on his contract and then he's going to be able to go wherever he wants. So why do we let go of assets and talented young development um, that we've been working on, on these players like Keita and Drew when we might not get that after one year. So the, the message that I'm seeing is that from, from Thaddeus Young, this is like the big update is that he's here to work. He's here to be a pro and he's going to have a good reputation and if he's in San Antonio training camp for three days or and he gets traded, that's fine. He's going to put his head down and go to work. And he also mentioned that he understands the nature of the business, you know, that he was a little shocked when he heard that he was involved in the DeMar DeRozan trade and that, you know, he talked to the staff here in San Antonio and they communicated with him that, you know, there's still some uncertainty about his role. And he went on to talk about that, too, and that, you know, that there's uncertainty there, but he's going to come in here and go to work with our young guys. and. Guys, that's nothing but good news. That's nothing but good news. The fact that um, he's Thaddeus Young has been in the gym, in the San Antonio gym, 
for about a week or two now and open gyms and getting run in with, with these guys. So he's teaching, he's learning, he's being a part of the organization for the time that he is here. All right. For the time that he is here. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Pooh man. Thank you for subscribing, man. I appreciate you for, for stopping by. All right. Um, so that, that young is there. Al Farouk Aminu is there too, I guess he was in, he was at media day. Al Farouk's wearing number 77. That young is wearing number 30 right now. So man, it's, it's still a mystery to me. And that's why it was one of the big questions. It was like the biggest question heading into training camp because there's a lot of, um, dominoes that are going to fall with whatever decision gets made. If he gets traded or if he ends up staying, I mean, someone else is going to get traded. So a little bit of clarity with that young, knowing that he's just kind of in the house to be a professional at the moment, right? And he's just going to work because Thad Young wants to get better. He wants to be around the organization. He likes the organization. I just don't think that the plan is for him to be here that long. So the other interview that came out today was with Jakob Pertl. Jakob also talked about that, and he talked about how um, when Thad Young kind of came into the gym and started playing and getting in the scrimmages and getting in the mix with these young guys, that Jakob saw right away and felt the presence of his veteran leadership and how he Thaddeus Young just kind of came into the gym and started taking over and teaching and and teaching the young guys things and like so Thaddeus Young guys being in the gym for however long he's going to be here is going to be the is going to be a positive for our team we I wish I, I wish he can stay all year because we do need the depth we need the depth there um but we'll go ahead and I digress and we'll, we'll kind of move forward and wait and see on what happens with Thaddeus Young and, and Al Farouk Aminu. But now let's go ahead and...